What's good everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm here with somebody you guys have requested to be on the channel for a while now. We're actually in Dallas right now for sneaker con. I'm here with Jacob Starr. You guys know him. He does all the Supreme videos. We've kind of gone back and forth. I put him in some of my videos. He's talked about me in some of his. We decided to come together because the last five sneaker cons or however many we <laughs> say we're going to film a video, <laughs> but we never film a video. So now we're sitting down. We're doing it between the show right now. We're also doing a video on his channel where we're going to be doing rating rappers outfits. because You know, I typically do that, but we're switching it up. This video, I'm going to be rating the or we're both going to be rating the different YouTuber merchandise. So there's like four or five YouTubers we picked out specifically ones you guys have want to see. A lot of you guys asked me about the rice gum one. So you'll see that in this video, but let's go ahead and get into it. Also, I want you guys to know before we start that secretly Harrison doesn't do it on the channel, but he actually curses <laughs> when we were at the mall. He called the security guard a butt wipe. Okay, so basically before we even get into the opinions, I just wanna say everyone has their own style, right? We all dress differently. Like some of you guys may watching may think that he don't know how to dress and you might think that I don't know how to dress, I don't, right? And these YouTubers that we are judging, I just wanna specify of course, like a lot of these individuals we watch, right? We And we will get into that as well. So just because we may not care for their merch, that doesn't mean that you may not like their merch. You can check it out for yourself. You can have your own opinion. Our opinion does not have to be the same, okay? So the first person that's up is someone we actually both look up to in more of the film world. Now, you guys know him. He's Jesse Wellens. He's done prank versus prank. So he did a lot of pranks back in the day, but now he has a very artistic style to his videos and he's more of doing directing and whatnot for his different types of films so i look up to him a lot in terms of all that and i jacob has as well and he has recently been getting more into the clothing and streetwear world and there's a little bit of controversy i guess with that and i've talked about it on twitter just about how this dude tried saying that he thinks it was the first he did the first like men's fashion lookbook what i did that like five six <laughs> years ago like I, nothing against him though. I will say Jesse Wellens when it comes to videography like Harrison said this dude literally I can't curse on Harrison's channel uh, it, It's he's substantially better than me, right? I aspire to be as good at him when it comes to editing just no when it comes to his lookbook stuff Like we've been doing it. So it's kind of weird that he just overlooked all that. But anyways, which whatever Yeah, so when he tweeted that out everybody tweeted back to him like what are you talking about? And then he finally came back and said, you know, I was totally wrong and all this but a little bit before he did that because he has been posting different lookbooks after that he has some merchandise that came out with Neff and it's the Rose Avenue collab and so he's been doing a little bit more with the Rose Avenue and kind of going together with that so we pulled up some of the shirts and there's beanies as well that he did with that so as you guys I'll put it up on the screen it's just a simple scoop t-shirt like a scallop tee it's got an embroidered rose on the chest and then it also has on the back and kind of like the same Kanye font it says Rose Avenue as well as the hats have just a little rose on it very simple very clean so what do you think I, I think it's really, really basic. Uh, I, I don't like the merch at all. So I, I don't mind the rose. Like, I think it's kind of cool. Uh, I feel like it's a kind of like kiddish rose. Um, I feel like the rose have like the, the style of old English that they used. Like you said, it's very similar to the Kanye font. And so I'm not necessarily against printing. I feel like this, this would have been like somewhat cool like four years ago. And no disrespect, like I said, I look up to Jesse Williams. I, I just don't really care for the merch. I think the hat's kind of dope. I could see myself rocking the hat. I don't really care for the beanie, although Neff beanies are super comfortable. I don't, I, I'm just not a fan of Neff. Like, it's not my thing. Personally, what I think is it, like he said, at an earlier time, this would have been like perfect. I think it's clean and it's similar to something like when I put merch together, I want it to be simple because I, you know, I wear a bunch of simple stuff, so something like that, an embroidered rose and a little bit of text on the back. I could see myself maybe twisting something off and making similar for my merch, not like exactly like that, but I'm saying, you know, my merch had the little writing on the back, on the lower back, and I had just something little on the front. Very simple, that's just kind of what I go for, but I guess we have a little bit of a differing opinions. Yeah, but I mean, you're not, you're, the one that you did on the back, first of all, it was like a smaller font. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't so like big, And, and like, it wasn't Kanye font, it was a different font that yeah, was Yeah, exactly. Only, yeah. So I, I totally understand that. Last, we have rice gum, and this is probably the most requested because of one specific, or two specific items, I would say personally. We'll just go ahead and dive in. We have the rice recycle long sleeve tea. I'm just gonna say, this just looks like a shirt you could walk into H&M and get. Like, it's like, like the same, similar design to like something at H&M. That's just what I think. And $45, come on. Come on, cuz. Like, 45 bucks Come on, is cause. steep. That's steep. I feel like H and I feel like this is even behind H and M times. Like <laughs> I feel like H and M is past this now. Like yeah, yeah. Like this is probably the only thing. 
from and and let me preface this like I do like rice I'm not just saying that because he's popular because yeah, yeah. I'm about to roast his merch so <laughs> don't get it twisted I'm not just saying that because he's popular like I I used to not like rice gum but recently like his production's been really good his raps have gotten way better like yeah. his raps used to suck and now they're like really good they used to just be like funny now they're funny and they're actually good and so like I do mess with his content but these clothing, like the clothing, when he did the video where he's like, I, I just wanted to make clothes that I thought were dope. All the other merch sucks. I was like, uh, is, this isn't anything different. This is the same. <laughs> like, it's not anything crazy. He has a recycle logo. Uh, he spelled rice differently. That part in his video was kind of funny when he explains how he did that. The stripes is what really kills it for me. The stripes going all the way around, like that is very, very like six, seven years ago. And yeah, I agree. I do like Rice Gum's content right now. I think he's doing a great job at whatever he's doing and cause he kind of didn't post a lot for a while, but the content he's coming out with now, that diss track on Jake Paul was actually I fire. I've listened to that a ton <laughs> of times and it's like 36 million views. He killed that yeah. diss track. I think that was like the best one out of everybody's. Even the one he did with the Gabby show or whatever. That oh was yeah, that so one was good. really good too, yeah. This Goyard phone case is embarrassing. This so, um, I guess he wanted to come out with his own phone case, and this is a Goyard Rice. From I understand. I mean, people like Goyard, and they want to flex. This obviously is not a real Goyard. Get a case. real Goyard case. <laughs> it's like, if you can't afford it, why do you get this? It's like this is no different than just buying a fake Goyard case. And then if you really want, this is just like screaming, "Hey, I have a fake Goyard case," as opposed to like you could literally just go to you know New York or something and go to a vendor and buy a fake Goyard case for probably half the price. And at least then people won't know from far away, like if anyone feels it. I mean, even then it's like how, really how nice is a Goyard? Like, come on. Like, yeah, like, I mean, I don't really I care. Don't I just don't know why he would go for like the Goyard. I guess he wants to be like, oh, you guys can flex with my stuff, but it's like, why not just go for like your own, like your own design? That's, I don't know. Yeah, I could see him coming out with the, the Rice Versace case next, the Rice Gucci case. I could definitely see like a snake pattern with like the Rice logo over it last up is the exclusive rice denims that's what the name of it is 75 dollars <sighs> i don't know how to think about what this. a deal <laughs> so personally you guys know i worn a lot of the distressed denim the very similar to the fear of god style denim i do not wear it as much anymore i'm not wearing as much distressing anymore it just kind of gone out of my rotation as you can tell right now i'm not wearing distressed denim as well as the zippers i don't mind zippers i still wear zipper pants but it's just distressed denim i have not been wearing as much so this is like another fear of god style denim and you know jerry learns has been going after different designers for what using different Things that are very similar to his jeans, so maybe they'll go after rice gum, but... So he's got the two knee blowouts, he's got the distressing by the thigh, exact same as Fear of God. It just looks to me like similar to the ones that came out from Forever 21 that were 30 bucks, like just kind of like the odd distressing. I guess I can see that rice gum wants people to dress like him and have it at a cheaper price, but I just feel like cheaper it's not price. exactly... Yeah, not cheaper. I It should same. be cheaper, but I just don't think that it's exactly his kind of lane. I feel like somebody maybe like a YouTuber could, like a fashion YouTuber could come out with a denim and, and use like actual nice materials. Like, you know, Richie has his line, he has nicer materials. But we know people that are in the designing world and that they can take pieces and make nice pieces out of it that could kind of be like merch for us, but we just don't really do that because I don't necessarily feel like it's in my lane to make denim right now. Maybe in the future with the clothing, I know he's building a clothing line, but I just feel like it's just different for Rice Guns Lane because I feel like he just like told somebody, make me this Fear of God style denim and I'll kind of put my tag on it and that's it. I think like, I think it kind of, I think it's okay that he does it. I think that it's like whatever, do what you do. He's known for wearing a lot, like a lot of people who wear, you know, more hype clothes like Supreme, Babe, all of yep. them. Like I get asked all the time to give my opinions about how Rice Gum dresses and yep. my opinions on him. And I mean like, he is into fashion clearly. So yep. I think it's cool, but at the same time, it's like $75 for this denim. It doesn't even look like it stacks that great. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know where he got it manufactured. I think in order to give you like an accurate de description of whether or not it's worth it, I would need to feel the denim yep. in hand. If it's, if it's really heavy and like it doesn't stretch at all, then I can't, I'm not gonna rock with it. But if it's like, if it has like a blend, like a good like spandex or poly blend with the cotton that's the denim, right? And it stretches really nicely, it's super comfortable, then I can wear it. My other thing is I hate, I hate the, the zipper pants. 
So the fact that you put the zipper pants on there, I despise that. I think it looks so weird. No offense. My boy Harrison <laughs> is one of the only people that can dress. I still don't like it when he does the zipper pants thing, but he still dresses way better than I will ever dress. But this, when it comes to the zipper pants thing, I just don't like zipper pants. I don't like how they stack. I just think it looks really weird. It's just, no, just, just get normal pants. Yeah, no I just to you guys, by the way, <laughs> if you guys wear zipper pants. Yeah, for this, for me, it just kind of like looks like a, the way that it stacks. It looks like kind of like a cheap zipper. And when you get a cheap zipper like the Forever 21 denim, the zippers fall down. They don't have a nice stack. And that's kind of like a big thing with the denim like that is having a nice stack to it. So this personally, I just, I will not be buying it. If Ricegum wants to send it to us so we can do it, a I'll review on it, review it, we will gladly take it on and just give you guys our opinions because maybe... If we have it in hand, we'll think totally different. I'm not sure though. I just kind of don't want to go out and spend 75 bucks for this. Maybe I should have done it for a video, but I don't know what the return policy is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're going to end that there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, go check out Jacob's video on his channel. It is going to be dropping probably the same day. It will be linked down below, hopefully. And go subscribe to Jacob already if you have not, and we'll be over on that channel soon. Also, I apologize to any YouTubers if you guys watch this video. A lot of you guys are aware way bigger than I will ever be uh, so you go hopefully you guys don't even see it but if you guys do I apologize for going out on your merch because a lot of this stuff is we all have honest we all have our own opinions on clothes we all have our own type of way to feel about something and it's yeah, like, like no discredit earlier, to yeah. them they're doing what they're doing stuff is selling out they're selling way more merch than we would sell so I mean I I can't dog them for that but we can give our own opinions on it because you know yeah, I respect I respect them regardless of for what they're doing. All the three, Jesse, Rice, and Jake Paul, are all killing it right now. Their numbers are insane. I guess Jesse's he's still doing numbers. He's just not like doing like numbers he used to do, but they're all killing it right now and everything that they're doing, so I respect them fully and the content that they're putting out is obviously doing amazing, so respect to them. But that being said, if any three of you are watching this, watch out. Because Harrison's about to pass all y'all up. Made it from the bottom, what you thinking of me? What you think? I made it from the bottom, what you thinking of me? What you think? When I was on the bottom, you didn't hang out with me. No way. Now I got some dollars that keep hanging with me.